It's a great loss for U.S. diplomacy. Madeleine Albright, the 64th U.S. Secretary of State and the first woman to hold that position, has died aged 84 from cancer, her family announced Wednesday. She left an indelible mark on the world and on the United Nations. Our country and our United Nations are stronger for her service. Albright came to the U.S. as a refugee in 1948 from Czechoslovakia and after entering politics was personally chosen by President Clinton as the U.S.'s top diplomat to the United Nations, making her at the time the highest ranking woman in the history of U.S. government. Three years later, she was appointed as the country's first female Secretary of State. Known for her tough-talking nature, she was a loud voice pushing for military intervention to end ethnic cleansing in Kosovo and actively promoting NATO expansion. Albright is also recognised for her influence on US foreign policy in the Balkan War, pressing for stronger action from NATO when Bosnian Serb forces led an offensive to Sarajevo that forced an end to the war, and has expressed her regret for not intervening in the Rwandan genocide. Albright remained outspoken throughout her later years, unafraid to criticise world leaders for their decisions, making her a feminist icon to many and the speaker of a now infamous quote. We can tell our story about how we climbed the ladder and a lot of you younger women don't think you have to, it's been done, it's not done. Just remember, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. <laughs> Albright was lauded with the country's highest civilian honour, the Medal of Freedom, in 2012, and is also remembered for her use of brooches to send tart political messages in what she explained was a diplomatic tool.